a loud roar of appreciation from a very large throng on attendance here at Cops Coliseum. Rare norm that they open up the upper bowl for this, the final match of a Cops Coliseum between the Marlies and the Bulldogs as we take a look at the starting goalies. A uh, final matchup certainly of this regular season. Steve, who knows what we may see as this continuing season unfolds. And Dustin Tokarski, who's played in eight of the last 10 Bulldog games and was a key player in a six game winning streak for the Hamilton Bulldogs. And at the other end, we have Drew McIntyre, who actually has not played in two of the last three Marley games, but he has played 75% of the minutes in the Toronto Marley net so far this season. Referees in the game tonight, Dave Lewis, John McIsaac are your refs, and Kevin Hastings, Jesse Wilmont are your linesmen. Hamilton dressed in the red, Toronto in the familiar white and blue. The last time these teams matched up, it was December the 27th, a 4-2 victory for Hamilton right here at Cops Coliseum, and that was on the heels of a 2-1 overtime victory, the Boxing Day Classic at the Air Canada Centre. So while these teams have been very, very closely matched against each other, Norm Hamilton has the last two Dukes. Absolutely, these uh, regular season meetings, eight of them split four apiece. Hatterin got deflected out front, and it was a good thing Tenorti was alert to chip it out to the neutral zone. Real steady pair for Hamilton starting this game, and Greg Patteron and Jaron Tenorti. Patteron leading the dogs in plus minus at plus nine. Patteron has been called up to Montreal once or twice this year. Tenorti started the year with the Canadians before being sent down. TJ Brennan peeling back in his own zone. He gets it to Marshall after taking a bump on the play. Slap class pass for Spencer Abbott. And now Marshall has to deal with the forechecking of Andragetto as he backhands it in from his own side of center, but it hit a Bulldogs and no icing. Schwinard, he gets met and bumped on the play. And a puck is shot wide of the net, picked up by Morgan Ellis, and he looks to get it out. And the Bulldogs in business now inside the Marley zone. Andragetto crisscrossing, making a move. Holzer stayed right with him. Thomas with a shot. McIntyre with a save, and he had to locate the rebound. But he did and held on. Well, these teams, as we mentioned, Steve, they've played eight times so far this season. Five of the games here at Cops Coliseum. And very tight hockey games. Out of the eight, five of them have been decided by one goal. Two of them have been decided by two goals. You mentioned those couple overtime contests as well. So it has been a very tight season series so far between these two Ontario rivals. And this is, Norm, the last game of a seven game road trip for Toronto. And they've performed very well on this road trip. 4-1-0-1. Oh, That's not bad at all. Clean faceoff win for the Bulldogs. Ellis with a one-timer. And McIntyre with a good line of sight. He made the save and held on. Cooking call on Wade McLeod gives Hamilton the first power play opportunity of the game just a minute and three seconds into this hockey game. Power play has been a bit of a source of concern for the Bulldogs this year. Here's Morgan Ellis. He'll pick out Mason Hour. Thomas for Ellis. Touch pass back for Ellis with a shot. McIntyre with the save. Rebound. Big save made by McIntyre. He robbed Christian Thomas. On for Hamilton as well. They are missing Nathan Beaulieu, called up by the Montreal Canadiens earlier this week. And also Louis LeBlanc called up earlier this week. Both of those players, some key figures on this Hamilton power play, particularly Beaulieu, who quarterbacks it. Ten of his 14 points have come on the power play. McIntyre sharp in the early going. The veteran Smithson and Mason are on the draw and a clean faceoff win by Smithson as Carrick will backhand it out. Derek Smithson is just one of those guys who's dynamite in the faceoff dot. Tough to beat. It's the reason he has had a solid pro career on his career high in the Hockey, American Hockey League and the NHL just 39 points. Here's Tarnaski. Sends one around for Mason Hour as Hamilton looks to try and spread the ice surface. Percy right on top of Mason Hour. And now precious seconds ticking away on the Bulldogs power play located by Smithson. He got it to the blue line and no further. And now Carrick has got two shorthanded goals and he's away with a shot that is dropped by Ellis. And look at the wonderful work that Carrick is doing right now, pinning the Hamilton Bulldogs. Early penalty kill comes in 12th in the American Hockey League. 
83.5. The dog power play, as you mentioned, Steve, has struggled. 26th in the league at 14.7 percent. McIntyre will keep the play moving. 40 seconds on the power play. Patterson switches to the forehand, slides it across. Here's Martin St. Pierre. Andraghetto up top for St. Pierre. Sets it up for Patterson. Slides it in front. Tip down low from Dumont to Blunden. And Dumont might have been a little bit too unselfish on that play. Gabriel Dumont is having a pretty good month of January. And four goals in his last seven games. 12 seconds remaining in the Bulldog power play. They've got time for one last rush, and that breaks down quickly inside the Toronto zone as it's iced by Kevin Marshall. And now we'll get a whistle with just four seconds left in the power play. Get a look at that last sequence here where Hamilton almost got the first goal of the hockey game. So nice move in here by Marty St. Pierre working the point. He's going to get himself to the middle of the ice and opens up a lane for Patterson. And Dumont, you see just that little tip pass to Mike London, thinking he was going to have the tap in to the right of Drew McIntyre. Shots 5-1 for Hamilton, three minutes into this hockey game. Hartnell goes back. Here's Darren Dietz as McLeod will escape the penalty box. Brennan to McLeod. Can't clear. It's already able to keep it in. Feathers one for Fournier. Fournier goes to the backhand. He's got McIntyre out of position as he centered one out front. It was picked off by McKegg. He'll lead McLeod, and McLeod is inside the zone. Our first look at the newest Toronto Marley. Norton Cozen was acquired for Andrew Crescenzi. He was with the LA Kings organization, playing for the Manchester Monarchs. Had a pretty good season so far, Cozen. 29 points in 43 games. Very, uh, so Toronto gained some offense. Here's offense in the form of TJ Brennan with a hard shot that goes just wide. And they lose about nine inches in height. <laughs> Cozen, five foot eight. Andrew Crescenzi, six foot five. Crescenzi was a free agent signing by the Marlies. Faking the shot, Smithson rolls one out front. And it just went past Tokarski and out the other side as Stobitz was desperately trying to get free. Well, and look for uh, the Marlies here, Steve Spot, to get his top line out here with an offensive zone draw as Fournier and company get trapped and have no choice here but Justin Courtner to ice the puck. As they were hemmed in pretty good. The same fivesome for the Bulldogs will have to remain on the ice after the icing. False start off the draw. So they'll do it again. It's Natanen who made his NHL debut last Saturday when Montreal played in Toronto on the draw. And he's David Brawl. Kept in by Percy, lifts a backhander down low. Carrick couldn't claim it with his glove. And then Tenorti gets pinned by Carrick who Tried to make a play out front. Cortnall with a chance to move the puck. Bounces over Natnan's stick, and he's got to go off for a change. Here's Stuart Percy. First round pick of the Maple Leafs a couple of years ago. He was picked 25th overall. Ellis being chased by Carrick. And the lead pass, Christian Thomas couldn't handle that pass. And now here's Corbinian Holzer. Tipped by Abbott right in on Tokarski, who will take the cautious approach and hold on for a faceoff. I'm going to go through the scratches real quickly here, Steve. William and a big loss in forward Josh Levo. The rookie's got 21 points so far in 32 games. And first round draft choice Tyler Biggs also scratched. On the Hamilton side, you have Steve Quayler, who last played at the end of November, and defenseman Drew Schistel, who was just called up for the East Coast Hockey League. Schistel, of course, the Hamilton native. I'm well, looking to. With Bolio up, needing some depth, right? Andrew Ghetto's got a good head of steam. He has the angle with a move. Is a penalty coming up on the play as McIntyre robbed Andrew Ghetto. Will it be a penalty or a penalty shot is the question. Tremendous opportunity here for Andrew Ghetto. You see his speed as he just blows by the defenseman, Dylan Yo, and gets hooked by Holzer. As the German hooks the Swiss. Trying to beat the Nick goaltender from Prince Edward Island in Drew McIntyre. McIntyre just a terrific stop. He's been tested early and often here, Steve, facing seven shots already. I said in the intro, I was hoping, I thought there was going to be no map. I definitely thought there was going to be no geography. <laughs> That's an international game now, buddy. <laughs> Second power play opportunity for the Hamilton Bulldogs. Smithson and Dumont on the draw. 
London and Andrigetto also on the ice for Hamilton, and Smithson gets a little bit of space as he wires one down the ice. Adderan initiates some contact with Carrick. Two hooking penalties on Toronto, which the coach indicates he's got some players not moving his feet, maybe. Andrigetto rolled one out front, and Brennan will send it back down. Hamilton utilizing four forwards with St. Pierre playing the point. Hatterin, the lone defenseman, he's got the puck right now as he gains center ice with a move. It was an extra move, though, that will result in an offside. Not a lot of minor hockey kids here, Steve, on a Friday night, and most of their coaches would tell them, don't make that move at the blue line if you can help it. And Greg Pattern, just a little hesitation and perhaps put one of those wingers offside. Pattern, though, has been real solid so far this year for Hamilton, 16 points in 32 games. Look pretty close. Pretty darn close. And just for that, the linesman goes down. Minute 18 and running for the Hamilton power play now as Mason Hour squeezes down the boards, but across the puck as Domingo sends it around the long side. Tarnaski there to cut it off. Mason Hour. Tarnaski will go to the front of the net. Back for Patrick Holland. He's a four playing the point. Ellis with a shot, and Tarnaski was providing the rest and broke his stick. Otherwise, he had a pretty juicy rebound waiting for him. Nick Tarnaski. Here's Holland. Now we see some ice opening up as he will test McIntyre from the outside. Juggled briefly by the veteran goaltender, but he will hold on with 44 seconds left on the power play. Well, one of the storylines of this Hamilton Bulldog season so far, Steve, is they have had trouble scoring some goals. They production has dropped off here, which is 26 goals over the last 14 games, and they've dropped down to 27th in the American Hockey League at 2.44 goals per game. What they have been getting, though, is outstanding goaltending from Dustin Tokarski. Hamilton, one of seven teams who has yet to reach the century plateau in goals. In the slot, one-timer. Dumont follows it up, and he shot it wide of the net. Strange shot. McIntyre, I don't think, saw that. Here's Greg Patteron. Gabriel Dumont reverses it to St. Pierre. On the half boards, up top it goes to Patteron. No problem for the Bulldogs moving the puck on this power play. Back up top to Patteron with a shot, and that one did not miss by much. Sven Andrigetto Dumont fired one high and wide, and the puck scoots all the way inside the Bulldogs' blue line. Hamilton there with Patteron tried to catch Toronto napping on the change. It didn't work. Icing with six seconds left in the Holzer penalty. Well, Hamilton's going to end up likely 0 for 2 early in the early going here in this hockey game on the power play, but they've generated four shots on goal, and as you noted, Steve, some pretty good puck movement on that last opportunity. Throwing that puck around, but just unable to beat Drew McIntyre so far. Shots are 9-2 Hamilton, Norm. They outshot Toronto the last two times. They played 49-22 and 40-19. to 